Hi fellow teachers, my name is Pedro and I'm an English language teacher at Pegasus English Language School from Macedonia. And in this video I, I'm going to share with you some tips and tricks on how to teach a full lesson online, particularly useful during closure times, using some cool digital tools that are free and easy to use. It is not only important to know how to teach online but also what to teach online. You can have online lessons in the real time with students using just a few uh, web-based educational tools. What you have to do is adapt your syllabus to the available digital tools to cover the most important content. This could be a very fun experience if the right tools are combined in the right way and both teachers and students could have many benefits from this. Let me show you how. I want to show you how I teach English online to a group of nine graders with focus on a set of vocabulary related to astronomy, more specifically the solar system. The first thing I need is uh, teaching resources or materials which are available online. So I did some research and I came across this video titled The Known Universe, which is published by the American Museum of Natural History, which I believe will be a great uh, resource to introduce the topic and generate further interest and discussion. If I wanted to share the video with my students before the online lesson, I would post the link to it on Edmodo, where I have previously created my classes. You can see the classes over here. And invited my students to join with a group code, which is now locked, but it could be easily generated again. And I have also created topic-based smaller groups where I post texts, videos, assignments, and quizzes to my students. Edmodo is a virtual learning platform that offers a safe virtual space for teachers parent student interaction. It enables teachers to digitalize most of their contents that they teach without putting too much load on the student or the parents. So fellow teachers, if you want to find out more about how to use Edmodo and Edmodo's features effectively with your students, check out some of the video tutorials or webinars that I have published on my YouTube channel. Next, I needed an online tool to label the planets in the solar system, so I found this one. And I think it's very easy for all students to manage. And you can use it later on to generate discussion or even to challenge students to do a website in relation to any of the planets. Earth. You, that you can also have the pronunciation of the planets available. So it's a really handy tool. I have also decided to use Quizlet, which is a great online tool where I can create flashcards and use them to teach my students some words related to the solar system, for example. And I can also share a link with the students to uh, learn the vocabulary at their own pace. I can copy paste the link to Edmodo or to the Zoom chat box or I can generate a QR code and have students scan the QR code with their mobile devices and do it from their mobile devices. This uh, option at Quizlet allows students to learn all the vocabulary in a, uh, in a quiz-like form. And after they reach a certain percentage and master all the vocabulary, they can play other games. For example, we usually play the live game, which is using mobile devices so students students have the option to go visit the website and join by writing this code or they can scan the QR code and join the live game the final thing that we need in order to teach online is zoom zoom is a web-based tool where you can schedule meetings with your students and after you create the meeting you can share copy the invitation to the link uh, for this video call and i can share it on edmodo or i can share it with my students uh, using other social media. So let's make a recap. For this lesson, I have decided to teach my students vocabulary related to the solar system. And for that, I need Edmodo to share digital contents with my students, Zoom to set up a video conference or a video meeting with the group, YouTube to find relevant video contents, Quizlet to practice vocabulary through flashcards, digital flashcards, and an online tool for labeling the planets in the solar system. 
This was the preparation of the lesson. Now comes the real part. In order to go online with your teaching and have a fully interactive lesson with your students, you and your students will uh, need a good internet connection, uh, a laptop or a PC with a camera and a microphone per participant, and mobile devices for playing the quiz games, which is of course optional. So this is what I do. After I schedule uh, a meeting on Zoom, I copy the invitation, copy the invitation with the link to the meeting, and then I share it on Edmodo with my group. After I start the video meeting, first I need to admit my students, and then I have to make sure that everyone can hear me. And if, if I can also hear everyone, so you have to make sure that there is uh, that, that uh, there are certain rules with the students. For example, when one person speaks, everybody else should be quiet. They should be also very careful not to <laughs> blow air into the microphone or uh, background noises should also be reduced to the minimum. So these are the technical things that we that the teacher should clear up or set up as rules with the students. Uh, Zoom allows me to share my screen, which means I can project everything from my screen on my students' uh, screens. Uh, it has a whiteboard that I can also use, which makes things really easy for me because I can show my students the video from uh, my screen and I can guide them through it while we are discussing the topic, for example. And I can also do the labeling of the solar system, first as a group and then individually. And then I can also do the flashcards uh, with the whole group and then I can uh, play the live game by uh, putting students into small groups. So we have already played this game many times in classroom with students' mobile devices, so they know how to do it. And in order to work together as a group, you can actually put them into small groups using uh, Zoom's uh, feature break room. This combination of tools allows me to have a fully interactive lesson with my students online using the minimum available technology. I hope this video was helpful to teachers especially. There are plenty of tutorials available on YouTube about each of the uh, online learning tools that we used in this lesson. So if you want to find out specifically how to use any of these tools, you can also check the links that I posted with this video. If you have any questions or any comments, please write them in the comment section below. And of course, subscribe. So there will be more videos coming up like this, but I'll be showing and demonstrating to uh, teachers how to use certain web tools effectively in an interactive way with the students online. Thanks for watching. Hi. Hey, everybody. Hi. All right, can you see the whiteboard now? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I lost it. It was a video that I think I shared on Edmodo about how large is the universe, and it's in your small group yeah. astronomy. Did you have a chance to see it? Yeah. What do you call this? Mountains. Mountains, Mount. land. What's the bigger one? Conti. Continent. 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 Which continent is this? Uh, Are you with me? Yes. 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 So we're now moving away from the inner circle of the solar system to the outer circle planets or outer planets. Ah, okay. Which planet is this? Mercury. No, no, no that's Uranus. Uranus. Oh. oh, yeah. Uh, what do you call the sun and the planets and the other objects that orbit the sun together? Solar system. Solar system. Solar system. Solar system. Solar system. A large body in space that orbits a star and does not produce light on its own is called a? Planet. 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 Good. Planet. A path of an object as it circles around another oh, object. Really do you have your mobile phones with you? Yes. Yeah. Um, I got uh -huh. a, I'm talking about my notebook. Phone, but I'm scan the phone, but I'm mm -hmm. all right, guys. Any questions? Anything? No, no. I'm glad that we have this online meeting, otherwise, I, I would go wild, I would go crazy. You know, yeah, I like this like it's interacting with people, like because hey. I haven't seen anybody except my family. I have to tell yeah. you, yeah, okay, okay, okay. okay. Thank, you. thank you. See you, bye bye, bye bye. 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 bye.